This is a first edition of Professor Jerry Thomas's The Bartender's Guide. I'm Ben Houston from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to tell you a bit more about it. The history of cocktails is uh, mired in uh, confusion and, and sort of muggy reminiscences, perhaps something to do with the uh, people who drink them. Uh, there's, there's no way to know uh, the exact history of any of our favorite cocktails. However, one name in the history of cocktails stands out more than any other, and that would be Professor Jerry Thomas, or as he's simply referred to in cocktail circles, the professor. Now, he holds this particular stature because this book, The Bartender's Guide, is the first ever printed cocktail book. It's the book that um, presents the, the purely American culinary art of cocktail making for the first time. Uh, there have been examples of books referring to punches or referring to, um, to uh, say, Oxford College's drinking traditions. However, a book that simply and plainly uh, spells out how to mix cocktails had never been seen before. And it was published by Dick and Fitzgerald in 1862. Uh, at this point, Jerry Thomas was in New York, but he had just come from, from California, from the gold rush, where he was seeing uh, prospectors. He was, he was serving drinks in a bar to, uh, to rogues, but also to governors. And he was presenting this, this new art form, the art form of barman the cocktail barman, the mixologist. Now, one of the interesting things is Jerry Thomas brought to this uh, very simple tradition of mixing drinks a flair and a flamboyance that had never been seen before. He, um, he presented his drinks in a way that um, people were simply not used to seeing. He would, uh, he would present them with, um, with fine embellishments of, of lemon and, and mint leaves there. Um, but he would also consider himself a part of the production. So he would dress up in, uh, in, in, in fine suits, uh, bejeweled, and he would do things such as the Blue Blazer, his signature drink, where he would take two glasses of burning liquor and throw them over his head in an arc. Uh, obviously, quite a dangerous activity. And uh, it is actually mentioned in the book that the amateur should try first with non-flaming liquids before jumping straight into a blue blazer. Um, this book is, is, is fundamental to anyone collecting uh, important works of, of American culinary art, or in fact, culinary art in general. Um, and it was, it was realized straight at the time that it was an influential book. It was originally published for, for tradesmen, people who were who were making drinks for a living. But it caught the attention of the public and very soon went into a second printing and a third printing with the price going up from the $1.50 that we see here uh, up to $2 and then to $2.50 before it was finally uh, reprinted uh, in, a, in a separate binding. Um, for, that, for that reason alone, uh, Jerry Thomas can be considered to be one of the most influential people in the world of cocktails. And even to this day, if you go to a a bar in any of the major cities of the world, uh, the drinks that you see on that cocktail menu will, will have their roots somewhere uh, in Jerry Thomas's uh, ingredients and recipes. Um, if you'd like to know more about this book, you can read about it on our website, along with other culinary books and, and, and plenty more information for you, uh, for you to enjoy.